Today on Voiding Warranties, I'm going to fix the things I found when taking the Blue Beast out the first time under boost. I'm going to change out all the water that's in there for actual coolant. I'm going to replace the spark plugs because I'm getting spark blowout at higher RPM. And I'm going to change the fuel pressure sensor because uh, it's a Chinese made piece of crap. Let's get started. Voiding warranties, where saving three pennies is often worth the cost of one pound. I put a fuel pressure sender in here. I, uh, I got a really nice T that, uh, that splices into my uh, fuel line. And then I put a really cheap Chinese pressure module on it. And lo and behold, the thing failed. Failed after just a few miles. So. Instead of going out and buying an expensive fuel pressure module for 80 bucks, I'm going to buy another 20 buck Chinese module that will probably fail about as quickly. Because it's all about saving money. Now, if I can go reach down in here and unscrew the one that's in here, I'll just unscrew it and screw the new one back in. Let's see if I can get a little bit of room here. Unplug. Ah! high quality craftsmanship even on the plugs unplug the new module from the plug yeah wires look fine it's just not glued i can fix that later take the new module apply just a little bit of thread sealant because i do not want this leaking fuel everywhere Alrighty, and now to get the old one out, let's remove this hose here. You know what? I already got it undone there. Problem solved. Now let's use the absolute worst tool for the job here, vice grips, because they were handy. Sized it on the new one, so it should fit just fine on the old one. Get the line for the boost solenoid out of the way, and... Arr. Wow, this is almost too easy. Oh yeah, I, I am definitely going to spray gasoline everywhere when I do this. Good thing the exhaust manifold's on the other side. Or this could be ugly. Alright, I knew that was going to happen. But I didn't get a towel. Arr! Again, professionals. Not professionals, professionals. There's a difference. Okay, that's the old one. This is the new one. And part of the reason I'm adding this here is to uh, figure out if I'm losing fuel pressure at higher boost pressures. The other part is I'm going to do a closed loop fuel pump pressure control. And the plan on that is to use this sender and then uh, a MOSFET to do pulse width modulation on the fuel pump. A lot of cars have this from the factory, mine does not. Mine just has a simple pressure control valve that, uh, that goes and it does the recirc for uh, multiple things, including uh, siphoning the, uh, the saddle tank. I have a clever way of getting around that and hopefully it'll work. All right, now this thing is in. Now I need to pressurize the fuel line and see if it leaks. All right, in order to pressurize the fuel line, all I have to do is turn on the ignition and off and on and off a couple times. It'll spin the fuel pump each time. And it should be pressed up. Did you guys see any leakage? I haven't looked yet. Okay. Looks okay, I just got some residue from when I pulled it the first time. Okay, now, 
let's connect to the new sensor. Uh, before I uh, start the car to test this, I ought to put the brake booster line back on, otherwise hilarity could happen. Oh, it's running bad, I don't know why. What happened, what happened, ooh. Yeah, it, it would be the brake booster. All right, and now for the true test. Let's fire this thing up and see what happens. Hopefully, fire it up as a figure of speech. This car has had a mixed life. Okay, I don't see any leakage. Let's pull up the data and see if we have data. Okay, it's still connecting, still connecting. Okay. It's showing 85 pounds. That's completely wrong, but it's also not set up for this sensor. Let me fix that really quick. And see if we can get this at least close. I'm not going to calibrate it for everything yet. This is just going to be a basic 0 to 5 volt, 0 to 100 pounds, which is not exactly what the sensor is, but it's close. And looky there. 56, 57 pounds of fuel pressure, and that's about right. That is what I expect. All right, guys, I'm almost there. I've only got one more thing left to do before I can take the Blue Beast back into boost again, and hopefully with less problems this time. I've got to change the spark plugs.